Hey, I'm with Mike at Premier Pet Supply, and today we're talking about something that isn't as fun, but it's really important. We're talking about end of life, something I don't want to think about, but it's going to happen eventually. Right, and you know, in, in, at my end of things, we get to see people during the fun parts of the, yeah. the pet's life, and unfortunately, those conversations don't necessarily happen in the pet store, Right. but it is a part of what we sign up for. We know our pets don't live quite as long as we'd hope them yeah. to, and planning and understanding how to uh, you know prepare. how the process works yeah. and how to prepare so it's not a conversation we like to have but we have someone here that can help us and this is Roberta Roberta's uh, is the director of the Pet Loss Professionals Alliance and in representation of Loyal Paws which is a crematory in Clarkston right correct so what should folks know what are the most common questions that you hear one of the most common questions I get is how do I know that this is my pet that I'm getting back and we at Loyal Paws has a tracking system that absolutely every step of the way from the time that pet is at the veterinarian clinic until it comes back to the family is a barcode and is tracked. Okay. So you could call us at any time and find out exactly what process, whether it's the paw print, whether it's the cremation. And what are some of those options that we have? Uh, options for uh, pet, we do cremation and we do a lot of memorialization. So things That's so like, important. Right, yeah. right. It's, it's what helps you get through that journey. Right. Yeah, and even looking at your necklace. Right. These are actually paw prints, real p my dog's paws, that are transformed onto a necklace. Really? So that paw print that we make then mm -hmm. can be made into jewelry. There are things like, uh, cremated remains in a glass blown uh, bone. Oh wow. Uh, we could do jewelry, there's diamonds, uh, ashes to diamonds. So a lot of things to help you go through yeah. this journey. Yeah. It's not a matter of if but when that right. pet passes. Right. And I mean that's a harsh truth but it's it a is, truth nonetheless. It is. And, and pre-planning, making sure that you know ahead of time. You know, you don't have to uh, just walk away from the veterinarian clinics. We do a lot of final goodbyes yeah. where the family comes in, especially if you have children. You know, we better make sure we prepare them. them. Right. And yeah. it's an opportunity to teach. It is. And it is. So. Well, thank you so much, You're Roberta, welcome. for being with us today. And thank you for making a tough conversation just a little bit easier. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.